did it again, baby! Yes! Oh, it's it's been a long time coming. He's he's finally here. Kotsky Bakugo Max Factories action figure Figma series Kotsky Bakugo to be precise. And uh, I feel like Figma has just been sitting on this license. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll put that out. We'll 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 do this. We'll do that. But we finally got him. He's looking nice. He doesn't seem like he comes with too much, but we're still gonna go into it. Looking really nice in the box. Looking great. I uh, got some fantastic, nice looking, just mm, evil promo shots on the side here, and then more promo shots on the uh, on the back and. Like, right there, it, it's just telling you, you need a Deku. You you, you just need them. It, it, they pair so perfectly and well together, especially after that fight scene in Season 3. Just, oh my god, the feelings. But anyways, guys, I'm really excited for their... More, uh, more, more product shots, but I'm really excited for this. I'm uh, just... I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little sick, but we are going to make it 100% through this video without you even noticing, except for the fact that I just told you that I'm sick. But anyways, let's go ahead and do this, guys. And there is Lord Explosion Death Murder out of the box, looking nice, looking really good. Um, I do have already, uh, that doesn't make sense. I've ran into uh, some gripes already about the dude, and I hate to say it, but I'm kind of, I'm. I'm a little nervous on reviewing this guy, uh, and you'll see why in the future. But looking really good, the the paint apps, the the color looking, you know, stark, stark colors, no real shading going on, just, just you know, like just plain, plain colors. But the same thing can be said about the Zuka Midoriya. Uh, so uh, I would say it kind of lines up with it. But I'm 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 still really excited for this, and um, I want to see how it turns. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do this. All right, starting straight off uh, with uh, articulation here. Uh, this is this is where the majority of my gripes have already begun, and it really sucks. But we're gonna do it anyways. Uh, so he can do a wingspan about that high on both arms you just have to be a little gentle with them uh, doesn't have double jointed arms uh, and it's because these uh, these glycerin holders uh, or this grenade sort of thing on the arm uh, kind of stops it uh, and uh, does not have a bicep swivel or anything uh, has a I would say a ball joint within the wrist there which doesn't give it much motion at all thanks to those grenade things has a little bit of an ab crunch uh, going down about that much can Limbo style, not not much at all, and it's because of that this back uh, little crease right there, not not letting it do its thing, um, can look up about maybe that much, which is nothing. Uh, can look down about that much, but it can kind of see that it disconnects the head, discombobulates the head, uh, sort of thing. I wanted to use that, and I feel like my dad would. Uh, he would he would be proud that I use that word, but <laughs> anyways, uh, so I can look down about that much. Now here's the thing I do like about him, um, he can kind of turn his head sideways, just like boop, boop, uh, sort of thing right here. Now this is where it gets this is it, it gets dicey, um, it it gets scary, and um, we're, you're gonna go with it through me, but I just want you to be here when it happens. The legs. Uh, if you can already see, he's got a very wide stance, and uh, there is a reason for that, and it's because if you do this like that and you want to make him stand up straight, which he's standing up straight, sure, and then you like kind of move his legs about that much, see him right there, and that's what I hate. I hate it so much. It kills it kills me, it kills everything within my being to even see this happen because I was so looking forward to this figure. I love this show. I really wanted a legit uh, sort of thing. Um, I wanted to throw shade and trash at McFarland for making some crappy looking um, figures, but I, I don't know, Naruto's arm fell off. Hashirama! 
uh, cells to bring it back. Um, so maybe McFarland falls apart just the same as him and the butt doesn't stay. But see, what it is, I think, is it's just this plastic piece, this, this little crotch holder thing right here, and it stops it. And when you have his straight legs, he, like it, you can put it back in. There is no issue with that. Like, you know, it's it's easily. I, I like how I say easily fixable, and I can't even fix it on the camera. <laughs> Eventually. So it is fixable, um, and I, I would like to retract my uh, previous statement about the easy part. But it is fixable. Uh, let's go. Keep on going. Uh, so can bend his knees about that much? I'm really scared to do anything with his legs. Does have a thigh cut? I will show you just for the sake of the video. Uh, can turn it about that way and turn it about that because good god Bakugo you hurt yourself and it's not it's not doing too good for you buddy uh, but then uh, can uh, point his toes down about that much also has like a uh, I, I, I've never seen this before but I would call it a, um, a, a shin a shin cut a shin swivel something like that can make his legs do that uh, also oh showing it off showing the toe pivot action just showing it off giving it a little bit of a uh, uh, some just 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 good goodness that's that's all I got to say uh, so and I don't know if those are double jointed knees I don't think they are uh, there's not really a kneecap stopping them uh, and uh, they can't really go too much um, but I mean, it's, it's there and it's this thing right here that kind of stops it so that is articulation oh you're you're standing on your tippy toes it, 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 it feels bad just put it put it put it back down Katsuki Kachang or whatever you want to call yourself but so that 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 is articulation we've gone into it it hurt to do it just because I hate the fact that his legs won't stay on it it sucks man it really does but let's go ahead and move into paint apps and sculpting and give you give you some points you you need some points uh, in this review already because it's not looking good buddy Moving right along into paint apps and sculpting here, uh, looking really good. The hair doesn't really have uh, too much shading going on. There's, I, I feel like there could have been some uh, more effort put into that blonde hair. Uh, this, whatever the hell this thing is, uh, it's cool. It looks really cool, and it's hard. It's, it's like, it's. You hear that? I don't. You can hear that, but uh, so that is that. It looks really cool. Um, it's it's very uh, finely cut, and then uh, on the back here, uh, everything's looking good. It's all it's all one color. It's all stark. Uh, there is absolutely no shading whatsoever. So devoid of shading on any of those. Uh, moving on to the front of the chest, there uh, kind of got some Figma looking uh, stuff to it. The chest is small. Uh, the lines on the bicep look really good. Uh, this little glister thing the little hand grenade boy uh, that looks really nice as well the colors are nice and shiny uh, the gloves looking pretty good the grenades could use a little more detail which is a bit of a bummer uh, the belt is looking fan freaking fantastic moving down to his knee pads um, awesome I wish they were I guess maybe the the gray on him could have been silver uh, or uh, just a little bit of a sheen just to give it that look um, but it still overall looks pretty good. The, you can see like a little, a little paint um, imperfection right there coming out of the that little dot thing. Uh, and then you going down to his boots, looking really good. Everything is stark. You got the little, uh, little, 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 little pull, pulley tab sort of thing for his boots. I don't wear boots. I don't. I don't know what that is. But <laughs> the orange looks really good, and uh, the dots on there. And then moving to the back, really nothing going on there. All stark colors. But, um, other than shading and stuff, uh, Mr. Lord Explosion Death Murder, kinda, I would say pretty good, um, on the, the, the paint apps and sculpting. Uh, I do, I, I, I have to give some, uh, some definite points for the sculpting. All of it, it does look really good. It all looks really nice. It's just the paint apps, uh, could have been, uh, a little more effort, um, some more shading. I know Figma doesn't really do shading but come on guys you, you gotta do it you know like it's 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 2020 you've got the technology i know you have every single license license out there and you're making everything so just, just put a little bit more time and effort and then um maybe we'll get a better thing 
and it kind of makes me almost um, nervous as far as articulation going back to that just because it hurts it hurts to open a, a, a figure and then his leg fall off like you would think I would have got a, a knockoff or a KO uh, or anything like that, and I didn't, which is a bummer. So it makes me nervous about uh, Uravity and Kirishima and um, Todoroki. Like, I'm, I'm scared, guys, but uh, we'll see. Now, moving on into accessories. To moving on into accessories, uh, we're starting off with the faceplates here and uh, looking pretty good. Uh, kind of got the mask going on there, the eyes looking evil. And um, I gotta say, I used to hate Bakugo. Uh, but uh, thanks to a, a rather not so small YouTuber named uh, Totally Not Mark, which hopefully you can go look at his video right up there. I know I'm promoting someone else's video on my video, but it, it, it's totally worth a watch and changes your whole outlook on Kotsky. Anyways, uh, looking really good, or Kotchan. I, I keep calling him Kotsky. It's, uh, it, it's Kotchan, but uh, looking really good. Like I said, the shading on the hair doesn't look that great, uh, but the, the face, the face plate looks pretty good. Uh, I feel like there could have been an evil, a more sinister, a more evil smile uh, going on there. Uh, however, it, we get that in the next phase. Okay, that's that's what I want to see from uh, Kachang right there is those evil eyes looking really good You can almost see the pupil. Can we take this off? You can see the pupil within the red uh, iris which looks really good. The veins are eh, They look good. They're just red lines. There's really no huge detail to them or anything uh, like that but uh, and then the teeth looking pretty good the mouth is a little outdated it's just all one color which is a bummer and I say outdated because I re, -re review fig arts for the most part and um, they they've just become they've come a longer way uh, than Figma I think Figma is just stuck with oh, we got the things we're doing the things we got the teeth we got the mouth okay just ship it uh, sort of thing and um, it's just a little outdated but the teeth do, do look good there's uh, like some little little bit of gaps to give it a little bit more character but overall, a pretty good looking faceplate. I really do like the the iris and the, the veins though. Even though they are just little red little lines, they're not squigglies or anything, still looks pretty good. Okay, so we're showing off this one because, and yeah, we're showing it off in his hand because I want to show you something. So it does look pretty good. Uh, it's a little translucent as far as the explosion goes. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Maybe I've had too much coffee or maybe I just can't hold stuff up straight. I don't know, you be the judge. Anyways, uh, so it looks really good. Uh, there's some, um, there's uh, like opaqueness to the top and then translucence uh, and uh, to the bottom there. So looking pretty good. Now here's the problem that I have is like you do that and sure it looks cool but you gotta jam that thing in there because dear god you touch it and it falls right off and I think it's because of the hand and the peg and then all of that so looks really cool in theory but um, functionality doesn't go the furthest and I would show you the other one but it looks exactly the same and it has the exact same issue uh, so now we have done accessories um, just because there were hardly any any of them uh, but I had to show them off anyways uh, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to hands because he does have a rather um, large amount of uh, hand accessories so real quick uh, as far as hands go he's got the two pegged hands right there holding uh, the explosive blast uh, two fists that uh, I don't know what he could hold maybe it's that little uh, lot launcher sort of thing on his uh, his gauntlet and then over here we've got two open hands uh, so uh, rather a large amount of accessories uh, or hand so Lord Explosion Death Murder stands at about uh, what is that uh, five and a half inches uh, on top of the head and with those little crazy bat wing things uh, about six inches so it seems pretty par for the course uh, for Figma uh, now I want to see him compared to Midoriya of course because why the hell not uh, and then some other figures or some other lines just to give you an idea of what he would look like on your shelf and there he is next to some uh, related people some not related people we got uh, Figma's 
uh, Izuku Midoriya to his left, an SH Fig Arts Sage Mode Naruto, and then it had to be done. It's Big Thick Boy Beef Cake Jiren! Oh, okay, so looking really nice. I know you, you have nothing to do, and you have nothing to do, but I just wanted to show him off, give you an idea of what he looks like next to some other lines here. So, guys, we have done articulation, paint apps and accessories, and size comparisons. So without further ado, it is time to... Look at this photograph! Ladies and gentle collectors, are you entertained? I've gotta say, kind of, yeah, sort of, maybe, um, wishful thinking, all of the above. Um, I really do like the figure, um, I got my major, major gripes with him, especially a leg falling off. Not not cool, especially since you're an official release. Shouldn't happen. Now, I will retract my statement and say that these little explosion boys, the little explosion hand things, um, I was putting them, putting them in the wrong hands. They are specifically set to go in each individual hand, which seems like uh, common sense, but I was just kind of like so downtrodden that... Um, it wasn't registering in my head uh, because about the leg it threw me off and I wasn't thinking so with that being said uh, my rating scale is like it love it actually hate it hate it like it love it got to freaking have it and I'm going to have to give this dude I would say I like it. it. It really sucks, but that leg thing, it really kills me. Um, the, the lack of articulation, the, the, the lack of mobility for the character uh, can't really do too much. Uh, he is great as far as the sculpting department. Uh, that looks really good. The paint apps are pretty stark, pretty bland. I wouldn't say bland, but they're, uh, they're pretty stark colors. There's absolutely no shading in there, uh, but he is a good figure. Uh, so. I would say like it honestly it's it's that leg and um, just the the outdated uh, articulation is what kills it for me but he's still a good figure don't don't get me wrong that's just my review but if you want to pick this guy up and um, you're like I just want him to stand there on my shelf, which I'm gonna do too, but and I don't want him to stand on my shelf. I don't really care about him doing any crazy stuff, and if his leg falls apart and I can put it back together, it's fine. Head on over to, and this has nothing to do with the integrity of the figure itself uh, as far as the website goes, but make sure and head on over to shoptoyco.com and follow that little get the description right there it's made specifically for you takes you directly to the figure you get them you're done but I would recommend signing in because you're gonna get rewards points picking up this dude and yeah I said rewards points about a toy website you can save them up and get more dudes like this which why why would you not and I keep calling them dudes because my girlfriend calls them dudes and they're like oh you got more dudes today yeah she doesn't sound like that I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry if you're watching this love but yeah, make sure and head on over to there, and then also use the promo code LeCompton and save on shipping, 100%. So it's basically like getting Amazon, and Amazon's probably going to screw up your package, throw it away, throw it up, I don't know, kick it, maybe a football punt, uh, and 
I don't know. But if you like those uh, shots going through the thing, and thank you, Precursor to Kachung uh, Vegeta, for showing us that. It is LeCompton underscore projects at inst or on Instagram, and you can check those out. Look at them, like them, do all the things, share them maybe if you want. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, Compton out.